I've been featured in a New York Times article, and I'm even in Target's 20th anniversary coffee book for my hauls. So if you are interested in collaboration collections or you have any questions, I'm your girl. I am back with another collaboration collection haul. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know I got to shop the Diane von Furstenberg and Target collaboration collection early, a week before it's out. It comes out on March 23rd, but I got to shop it this weekend because they had a special pop-up that was open to the public here in New York City at the shed at Hudson Yards. If you're new here, the way that I do my hauls is that I talk about the collection, what drew me to it, why I wanted to shop it. I talk about the shopping experience, anything noteworthy, anything that I feel you should know about. In today's video, I will do a try on so that you can see these pieces on me and on my shape. That way you can figure out sizing and what might work for you. And then I'll come back with my final thoughts and tell you what I thought about the pieces in the collection itself. All right, I have a lot to show you, so let's get started. So just a couple of weeks ago, Target announced their latest collaboration collection, and I believe this is one of the first times that they've done it with a big designer in a while. Lately, they've been doing a lot of emerging, um, I won't say new and up and coming because some of these designers are well-established and well-loved, but they're not as well-known to the everyday consumer. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't even remember who the last big, like famous big designer that they collaborated with. I I I'm blanking. And you know that this is what I do. I love shopping these collections, but I'm, I'm blanking right now. I have really been enjoying those emerging designer collections. I've shopped the previous two. Agua Bendita was the last one. And then before that, they had a collaboration with four brands, Sergio Hudson being one of them. I've shopped those. I've shared those. So I really enjoy those. But when I heard that Diane von Furstenberg was going to be their next big collaboration, I was really excited. I am a big DVF fan. She's iconic. She's a legend. She's credited as being the inventor of the wrap dress. In in fact, this collaboration is in honor of the 50th anniversary of the wrap dress. And the story of how this dress came about is actually really interesting and special. 50 years ago when women were working in corporate offices or what have you, they had a very limited selection as to what you could wear to work. A lot of it was very masculine. And so she wanted to create something that was both work appropriate but also feminine and would make a woman feel good and feel powerful in her position and look good and so that is how the wrap dress came about. On the DVF website, it says here, at the age of 21, I found myself working at a printing mill in Como, Italy. The owner, Angelo Ferretti, had offered me an internship to learn about different printing techniques and understand the behind the scenes of fashion. Ferretti also had a knitting mill, which was next door, and had invented a cutting edge jersey fabric, which he used to make printed t-shirts. Ferretti granted me permission to work on my designs in his factory. I took all the things I learned and started draping with Bruna, the pattern maker. First, we made t-shirts and shirts dresses in a variety of prints and lengths then we created a little wrap top in the style of the sweaters worn by ballerinas and created a skirt to match very soon after that the wrap top became a wrap dress and the rest is history the printed jersey wrap dress was stylish feminine and most importantly practical it gave women the freedom to dress and undress with ease while looking sophisticated and put together through its soft and body molding fit it provided professional empowerment and personal freedom all at an accessible price point five decades later and I I still can't believe the wrap dress is around. As I like to say, it's more than just a dress, it's a spirit. And to this day, the wrap dress is still iconic, still loved. It's her best sellers, what she's known for, these amazing, beautiful wrap dresses in these beautiful prints. And that is what I was excited about, to finally have that iconic style, those iconic prints come to Target so that it would be more accessible to the everyday person. Okay, let's talk about the shopping experience. As I mentioned, there was a special pop-up here in New York City at The Shed, which is at Hudson Yards. And on Friday, it opened from 3 p.m. to, I believe, 8 p.m. And then Saturday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. I was there on Friday. I got there early, but not too early because those days of standing in line for hours are just not my thing anymore. I got there, I believe I was online by 2.12. So, you know, less than 45 minutes before the doors opened. And I was one of I think the first hundred people to walk in. It was very well stocked. It had everything from the collection. It had the clothes, it had accessories, it had the kids clothes, it had the homeware, and you could even order some of the furniture with her prints. That's one of the special things about this collection that they've never done before. So there are pieces of furniture and all these different prints that you can select from to create your own made to order pieces. When I'm preparing to shop these collaboration collections, I always try to find all of the pieces of the collection and their prices and make a list of the things that 
that I just have to have my top pieces and then some maybes and then some things that I just want to check out and see if it's something that I'm open to so when I got there I found out that there was a 10 item per person limit so I went to my list of my must-haves the ones that I really wanted to buy and there were exactly 10 now I did make a mistake it happens, you get there, you get a little overwhelmed, there's so many people, you wanna, you're want you grabbing stuff. So I made an error, but in the end I think it was a happy mistake because it turned out probably for the better. My only con to the shopping experience at the pop-up is that there were no fitting rooms, so you had to try things on over your clothes or, like a lot of women did, they just kind of found like a corner in the back somewhere and just started you know, going at it, just started like putting things on. I mean, I saw women trying on leggings and I didn't see anything. It didn't look like they had anything underneath, but listen, whatever you gotta do, you gotta do. Um, I was fine picking up my 10 pieces, hoping for the best and knowing that I, on the 23rd, would potentially just go to my local Target to make those returns and hope for the best. But listen, I get it. If you're not into that, you really wanna get what you want right then and there, you do what you gotta do. My respect to you, ma'am. <laughs> By the way, if you're new here, welcome, bienvenidos. My name is Jessica Flores and I am a lifestyle creator. I create content about beauty and fashion and especially collaboration collections. I'm actually known for my collaboration collection hauls, so much so that I've been featured in a New York Times article and I'm even in Target's 20th anniversary coffee book for my hauls. So if you are interested in collaboration collections or you have any questions, I'm your girl. All right, with that said, let's get to the haul. Here we have the cargo pants. So I saw these online and I thought, you know, they're kind of cute. They're cargo pants, which are still in right now. So I wanted to check it out and pick it up. These are windbreaker type material, so it is quite thin. And one of the interesting features that this cargo pant has is that it has drawstring at the bottom. Now, it's not my favorite feature. I kind of didn't like the way it turned out. It's it's not my thing, but interesting and unique. If you are looking for a cargo pant that's interesting and affordable, this one might be one that you need to look at. It has a functional drawstring here so that you can squeeze it in to you know, fit you better. It has pockets here in the front. Um, it has these cargo pants pockets down by the sides. And then it has these pockets in the back, but these aren't functional, these are just aesthetic. Here we have the polo sports bra. So when I first saw this, I thought it was just gonna be a little polo top, but they do call it a sports bra, and it is this thick material. It does not provide a ton of support, so you might need to wear a sports bra with this underneath still. Um, but it's ribbed, it's a really nice material, it's very cute. I got the cargo pants in a medium, and this is also a medium. It also comes in green, which I liked, but you know me, I wear black all day, every day, so I went with the black because I knew that I would wear it more often. But I'm not sure if it's a keeper. What do you guys think? Let me know. I picked up this pajama set in the leopard print because I love leopard print. I'm one of those people that thinks leopard print is a neutral. So when I saw this, I thought it was cute. Yeah, I just had to have it. So this I got in a medium and I think I could go a little bit smaller. I think I'm gonna try and return this and get the small if it's available. It's a two piece set, so the top is long sleeve. It has a pocket here, super soft, really comfortable, really nice, well-made piece. And then here we have the bottoms. In the front, it's cut like this, it's straight, but then in the back, you have the drawstring so that it'll fit you comfortably. Yeah, super comfortable, super cute. I love the PJ set. Here we have the poppy print smock dress. I love smock dresses. I think they're so handy, so comfortable. Because they're smock, they're really stretchy. So whether you have a big bust, a small bust, it's gonna fit comfortable on you. These are functional, so you can get the straps to a length that feels right for you. It's very lightweight material. And again, perfect for the summer. It's maxi. I love a maxi dress in the summer. Really handy. It has pockets. Who doesn't love a dress with pockets? I love this dress. I think it's really cute. It also comes in a yellow print, but I went with the poppy because it has black, brown. That's more my vibe. Those are more my colors, so that's why I picked these up. I got this in a medium and it's too big for me, so I do plan on returning this and then hopefully picking up a small when it does come out on the 23rd. I picked up this knit top in the poppy print. As you can see, I really like this print. Um, it's knit, it's nice. It's a knit, but it's a light knit, so it's not too heavy. It's a great transition piece. Like, you know how it can be colder in the mornings and then a little bit warmer in the afternoons? I feel like this is great for that. This one I picked up in a 
size small, and I think it was a good fit. Not only are wrap dresses really comfortable, but they're very forgiving and very figure flattering, so you can see why they're so popular. And then we have the knit pants in that poppy print. I got it in a size medium and it fit me a little too big. So I'm definitely returning this and I'm actually thinking about returning both pieces. I'm trying not to buy things just because I can, because they're available, because they're there. I really wanna be a little more thoughtful about my purchases. So if I don't absolutely love something, if I don't feel like I have to have it in my wardrobe, then that's when I'm just like, ah, I should return it. So I'm definitely not keeping the pants. I just don't like the way the two pieces pieces look together. They look a little more like pajamas to me when they're together. I like the top and I think it'd be fine as a dress. It look, Let me know what you guys think. Am I wrong? But I feel like the dress because of the top, see, I feel like the top because of the length, it works as a dress. And so I would be fine keeping the top as a dress, but then I'm just not sure that I really need to keep the top as a dress. You know what I mean? Let me know what you guys think. The pants are in that same knit material. They are wide leg, super comfortable, super soft. They're really comfy. So I am not against it. I just don't feel like I need to keep it. So I'm returning this one. I picked up this collared wrap dress. They call it their vintage knit dress. I love this dress. I love this dress. This is a nice thick knit. It's not super heavy, but it's definitely thicker than the poppy print two-piece set. I love the collar. It definitely gives a retro vibe with the collar. Like I said, these wrap dresses just look really good on the body. They're just, oh, I love this, love. This is one of my favorite pieces from the entire collection. My husband loved it too. I really like the print. It's black, white, and then it has this, I want to call it like a like a dull gold. So for me, those are definitely in my color wheelhouse. So I loved it. And I picked this up in a size medium. This is one of the pieces that I knew I had to have. It was a must have on my list. This is the jumpsuit. It is so cute, so comfortable, really soft. I'm just like really into the 60s and 70s right now. And this just gives me that. I see jumpsuits and I think of my mom. She loved wearing jumpsuits and yeah, this, this just gives me those vibes. Perfect for the summer, really beautiful. I love that it's a deep V. Um, I like that look on me. I love the way that it's sewn here. It's really, really nice. So nice, in fact, that I think it doesn't even need a belt to jazz it up. I love the seam so much that I think it's perfect just the way that it is. I would just dress this up with chunky gold jewelry and and that's it. And a really nice pair of shoes for the summer, and that's it. Wide leg pants, super nice soft fabric, really like this. I got this in a size medium. I think I could go down to a small, so I might try out the small and see which one fits me better. This is the number one piece that I wanted from the collection. This was it. As soon as I saw it, when they announced the collection and had a little sneak peek, this is one of the pieces that they first showed, this wrap dress in this beautiful green print. I'm not a color person. I'm not even a big print person, but I saw this and I was like, I need that. I have to have it. I picked it up in a size medium and I love it so much. I love it so much. I love the way that it looks on me. Again, the wrap dress, the cut, the style, the print. It's just, it's a great dress. This is my number one. The wrap dresses sold out immediately. This was gone. By the time I was finished picking up my 10 pieces, I went around and this wrap dress gone. The black and white wrap dress also gone. This is going to be a big seller for them. So if you're interested in this, this should be the first thing that you grab. Speaking of the black and white knit dress. So remember that I had exactly 10 items in my list of must haves. I don't know how it happened, but when I got to the counter, there were 11 pieces and he'd rung up everything, and the last thing, the 11th piece, was the black and white wrap dress, which I'd picked up in a size small. Because I wanted to try out the sizes, I got the green in a medium, and then I got the black and white in a small just to see which one fit me better, and then I would return or exchange, if possible, the day of the launch on the 23rd. That was my plan. So he rang me up, and then that small black and white wrap dress was on the counter. He's like, you have 11 pieces. Which one do you want to pull out? Do you want to just leave this out or do you want to pull out something? And I got all flustered. The line was super long. I was ready to go home. My back was hurting. And I was just like, you know what? I knew that I had gotten that in small. I figured that the medium would work better. 
because I need these dresses to fit my widest part, which is my hips and outer thighs. So I'm like, the medium I know is gonna work out. The small, maybe it will, maybe it won't. I'll just keep the medium. You can return the small. So the piece that snuck in there was an item that I had absolutely no interest in buying. I saw it, the style, I knew it wasn't gonna be for me, so I had no interest in picking it up. So I don't know how it wound up in my pile. I think I thought it was another version of the collared vintage wrap knit dresses because I love that. As soon as I tried it on, I love that dress so much and I think that I just thought I'd grabbed it in a different print. Turns out it was the one, one of the pieces that I just was not interested at all. So let me show you what that is. And it's this knit halter dress. The reason that I wasn't interested in this at all is because I don't like halter dresses. I've never liked halter dresses. I just feel like they don't fit me well. I have a small bust and I always thought that you need a bigger bust for this. I was always uncomfortable with the way it fit around here. So I, halter dresses were out, was not interested in it. But then I tried it on for this video because I, you know, I bought it. Um, I'm doing of this video, so I'm like, I have to wear all these pieces so at least I can show you what it looks like, how it looks on me, on my figure. I love it. And more than me loving it, my husband loved it. He loved this dress on me. So it's a keeper. I'm keeping this dress. And so that little mistake turned out to be a happy accident because... Yeah, we, we love it. My mom loved it on me, I love it, so I'm definitely keeping this. I don't know if I'm gonna go and pick up that black and white wrap dress. I think I'm just gonna forget about it because, again, thinking about how I am buying things, how much I'm consuming and the reasons why, and I feel like I would pick that up just because it's a black and white and I know I would use it. Yes, it's a black and white wrap dress, which I love wrap dresses, I love black and white, it's all that I wear pretty much. But I feel like there are other black and white dresses I would be more excited about having and I would just be picking that up because it's the DVF and Target collection and I can pick it up so I will pick it up. And I just don't want to do that. So I think I'm going to skip that one. I'm just going to keep the green dress because I love that dress. And I don't have a lot of color in my wardrobe so I feel like that would be a good addition to my wardrobe. But if you like the print, if you like wrap dresses, if you are excited about having DVF wrap dresses at a much more affordable price, then I definitely recommend those wrap dresses because they are beautiful. They're much more affordable than your regular DVF wrap dress, so I definitely recommend those. And that was everything that I picked up from the DVF and Target collaboration collection over the weekend. I got to shop it early. I'm really excited that I was able to pick up all the pieces that I wanted and even one that I didn't want but now love. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the pieces that I picked up. Let me know if you're interested in shopping this collection. Let me know if you have any questions. You know that I have a ton of experience shopping these collaboration collections and the ones specifically at Target. So if I can help you out in any way, please let me know. Thank you so, so much for watching. Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might enjoy. Thanks so, so much for watching. Stay tuned.